Hi everyone, Peter here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be tips for first years or in the UK year seven, so the first year of secondary school. Just before we get into it, I'd just like to say that I have got an Instagram, Instagram account now, so please check that out. Um, it's linked in the description down below. And also I have TikTok as well, that is also linked. I'd love if you could check both of them out and maybe give me a follow. So yeah, I think that's it, let's get into it. My first tip would be to sort all your school books by subject into one of these, a clear plastic zip and folder, um, because then you have everything you need for one subject all in one place. So for example, Gwelga book, Gwelga copy, Irish dictionary all in one, and maths book, maths copy, calculator and formula book all in the other. And that way, you have them all together, like I've said, and you can just leave them in your locker if you don't have that subject that day or whatever. Speaking of lockers, use yours. You should be given a locker on the first day of school and you'll be able to access it before school, at break and lunch, and after school. They are really useful, so just, if you don't have a subject one day, leave your stuff in your locker. Don't bother taking it home unless you have homework and take the stuff for you'll need for your first three classes of the day from your locker in the morning, then put anything you don't need back at break and get your books for your next three classes and so on and so forth. I would also recommend keeping a copy of your timetable in your locker because in the first few weeks you won't have it memorized and you'll need to know which subjects you have next so that just makes it more convenient for you. And also keep um, spare pens and a little bit of spare stationery in your locker just in case your pen breaks or you run out so you don't have to constantly be borrowing until you can buy a new one. Keep spares in your locker. Also, maybe I like to keep like a chocolate bar or a bag of sweets in there just in case um, I f you forget your lunch and have no money for the canteen or you don't have a canteen or anything in case you need food or you just want a snack or something keep like some sweets or a chocolate bar in there as well. My next tip is about managing homework. I don't really think there's that much to say about it other than just do it um, because there's no point leaving it to like 11 at night because it won't be your best work and teachers can get very annoyed when you don't have your homework done and rightly so honestly but uh, don't be too worried in terms of how much more difficult it'll be from primary school it will be more difficult and there will be more but from September to midterm Halloween midterm teachers are really lenient on the first lenient on the first years and then from Halloween to Christmas things do get a bit more difficult now I can't say much about Christmas about after Christmas because when I was in first year after Christmas we went into remote learning lockdown until past Easter and only came back for like a few weeks in May so I can't say much about that you do have homework at the weekends now I know it's cringy and just cliche to say but do it on the Friday if you can don't leave it until 9 p.m. on the Sunday evening but let's be honest, we've all, we've, we've all done it, but try not to because you're just gonna stress yourself and you're constantly gonna be thinking, oh, and I've got homework to do for the love of God. So yeah, just do the weekend homework when you get it would be my advice to you. And if you can't do the homework, and ask your parents, but if you can't do the homework, teachers will understand. As long as you're not just using it as like an excuse in which case you will get um, given out to. So yeah, do your homework. Next, one of the big worries about secondary school that I know I had was if you're going somewhere without friends from primary school to a different school and you're worried if you'll make friends, you will. Just on your first like week, just know everyone's in the same boat as you. And usually you have the first day or two on your own in the school without any of the other years. So that is nice because you can settle in better. Um, so just be outgoing, make friends, and soon you'll be fine. Um, I went with 
only one person from my class in primary school and we almost never talk anymore. We're both of different friend groups now because our my school is really big, 1,300 students, which was a big difference to my primary school, which had about 150 students, which brings me on to my next point, um, adjusting between primary and secondary school. There is a lot more freedom, I think, in secondary school because they don't really care what you do at break and lunch as long as you stay on the school grounds unless you're allowed to leave. For In my school, you're allowed to leave in third year, which I'm going into, so I'll be allowed this year. But yeah, there is more freedom, but just know that that really doesn't leave you with any excuses if you get in trouble or if you don't have your homework done and they are much stricter than primary school on things like that. But yeah, I personally really prefer secondary school to primary school. The first, like September, like September to Halloween, it can be difficult settling in, but know that you'll soon get used to it. And if you make some friends, that'll make it even better. And just have fun, enjoy yourself, do the work and you'll be grand. My final tip would be don't stress too much about the class tests. In primary school, you'll have only had a test every Friday on like 20 spelling words and some Irish spellings and whatever. But in secondary school, you can have a class test in different classes three or four times a week. Sometimes you have a test every day a week. Although I know that you can't have more than two tests a day, which is good. Put Put in some study for them the night before the test and if you have any free classes before the class the test is in, do a bit of study then. But don't stress too much about the summer tests. Um, I didn't have summer exams in first year personally because of COVID, but if you do have summer exams, I'm gonna give you the same advice that we were given in second year, which is put in, put in the study and you'll be grand. Just put in a bit of study every night. Um, in the week building up to the week of tests, put in a bit more study than you would. Take breaks and study. Don't be like, okay, I'm home. I've got to study for the next four hours. I've got to blah because you will just get into a panic and you won't absorb as much information as you could if you just keep calm, take like, take 10 minute breaks every hour or so. And it's, it's first year, they're not important, but do put in some study because you don't want a shit report to take home. Sorry about my language. But yeah, I'm going into third year personally and I'm panicking about the junior cert. But yeah, don't worry about the class tests too much just put in some study for them so I think that's gonna be it for this video I hope you enjoyed it and you found it helpful if you are going to first year leave me a comment telling telling leave me a comment about which tip you found most useful um, thank you so much for watching I will see you next time please again do check out my Instagram and my TikTok. sorry I just hit the tripod with my foot and uh, leave me a like and I will see you next time. Bye!